And on this episode of Why Did We Need This, I take a look at the Joker 2 Flair of Dukes trailer, and to me it looks like 90% of this movie is going to be in Arthur's mind. Just dream sequences, dance numbers, musicals, it doesn't really seem like we needed to have this movie at all. And the only reason why I think it was actually made was because Warner Brothers said, let's make a movie with Lady Gaga in it. Because she has a pretty big fan base, so let's bring her over into some kind of franchise. And they took a look at what movies from Warner Brothers actually made money. And said, okay, cool, Joker made money, let's put her in the sequel. Doesn't really make sense to me at all. She doesn't really have a, uh, a Harley Quinn look or feel to her at all. I think she might be too old. I just, this, I feel like realistically this movie did not need to be made. Because I think the last Joker movie ended in such a really good way, where it ended a little bit ambiguous, where we didn't really know if the events were actually happening, was it just in Arthur's mind, but it left me off in a place where I didn't really care to, ha to have all these things answered to me. It felt like they summed it up perfectly, they put a cherry on top, made a billion dollars, won a bunch of awards, and you know what, that's it. It should have just been a one-off movie and that was it. And we're talking with a few other people, they said the first Joker movie didn't really feel like a Joker quote-unquote movie, but more of a reskin of a, I don't know, taxi driver or something like that, with just making the Joker in it. And looking back at those comments, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It doesn't really feel like this is the clown prince of crime. We don't feel like, okay, Joaquin Phoenix is going to go against Robert Pattinson. Like, that's, that's obviously not going to happen at all. We know that. And again, just as I'm looking through this trailer, most of this looks like dream sequences. And I, I realistically wonder, do we care about any of this? But it looks like that maybe the, uh, the, the, the courtroom gets hijacked by Joker henchmen in a way. But at the same time, like, who cares? This is really a trial that doesn't really matter. He shot Robert De Niro, and that was it. I don't really don't see people looking at the Joker as an inspiration. I never really got that from the first movie. I know people were doing that and falling over this guy, but I don't know. It just felt forced to me. So ultimately, it doesn't really look like it's that interesting of a movie. I'm not really hyped for it at all. I think it should have just been a one-off, and that was it. And... Just seems like Harley Quinn, the idea of just putting her in is just because we want to try to squeeze a little bit of money out of this thing. But the budget's a lot higher than the first movie, which is not a good sign at all. And as I ask people, I say, if Joker 1 was a musical, would it have made a billion dollars? Would it have done that well in the box office? Would it have won as many awards as it did? The answer is no. No, not even not even close. If you would have heard that the Joker 1 movie was a musical, you're not running to the theaters to see it. No, no, no. I mean, Joaquin Phoenix was good in Johnny Cash, but I, I'm not saying, hey, this is the greatest singer of all time, that he has to be in the Joker musicals. and things. It just seems such a weird idea. And also, why is he in makeup in the courtroom? It just seems such a... Everything about this is just weird. Why is he doing so many interviews? I don't really think that... His events in the first movie were that impactful that he's like a Charlie Manson type of guy where every TV camera is just running to take a uh, to get five minutes with this guy. I, don't, I never really got that from the first one at all. So no, Joker two, I it's not going to be a billion dollar movie. There's there's no way, no way at all. This trailer did not remotely make me think. Yes, I have to run to the theaters and see this, and I wouldn't be surprised if it flops in the box office. Because the budget's a lot higher than the first one. Way, way higher than the first one. So, it has a lot of factors working against it. I don't think Lady Gaga is anywhere near a draw that Warner Brothers thinks she is right now. I don't think people people are running to the theater to see Lady Gaga for this. No, I don't think that for a second. And yes, I guess they're trying to do this to try to bring in a more female audience. But, if you don't have the male audience, you ain't getting a movie. It, it, historically... Looking through movies of the past few years, if you don't have the male demographic, you ain't selling this thing. But in the end, what do you guys think about that?